The collection that served as the basis for the initial establishment of the Lynn and Lewis Wolfson II Florida Moving Image Archives in 1984 was the original news footage from Florida's first television station, Miami's own WTVJ, which was originally owned by Wometco and went on the air on March 21, 1949. Wolfson Archives founders Lynn Wolfson, Ralph Rennick, Arva Parks, and Dr. Greg Bush recognized the historical importance of saving these local news materials. Containing thousands of reels of film and thousands of hours of videotape, the WTVJ news footage starts in the early 1950s and covers many major South Florida news events through the mid-1990s. The collection really tapers off in the late 90s with a very limited amount of footage from the early 2000s. The 16mm news film materials are the oldest items in the WTVJ collection, with the earliest films dating from 1951 and the last films shot in 1979. In 1975, videotape began taking over as the medium of choice for news gathering at WTVJ. Much of this news footage would have aired during the newscasts. Other components of this vast news collection include the 1950s and 1960s special public affairs series known as FYI, for your information, hosted by news pioneer Ralph Rennick. I'm left to say good night and may the good news be yours. The topics covered were usually issues that concerned South Floridians at the time, such as crime, traffic, civil rights, the Cold War, and Cuba, among many other subjects. We have the original Kinescope film recordings that were made as these programs aired live on television. We also have some of the original film and outtakes for the FYI series, as well as for other special news programs produced by WTVJ. In some cases, that's all we have, but any footage, of any of the programs are important historical records and a valuable part of the archives. Another WTVJ public affairs program held in the archives is the Montage series, which covered human interest subjects and ran from 1972 through 1990, and again for a couple of years in the mid-1990s. Some of the subjects included celebrities, art, movies, music, theater, health, and education. In addition to copies of the montage programs, we have most of the program's raw films and videotapes. When the WTVJ collection arrived at the archives all those years ago, the film reels were in dented and rusty metal cans, not proper archival storage, by the way, and sometimes the cans contained many roulettes that needed to be unrolled and then compiled onto a larger reel before they could be viewed. Some of the films were starting to decay with a noticeable vinegar odor, requiring additional TLC. Preparing these films for access include verifying their content, repairing any tears and breaks, cleaning off dirt and tape residue, and noting any condition characteristics. Once we add new white film leader and properly label each reel, they are now ready for digitizing. The news tapes, mostly in 3 quarter inch and beta cam formats, are a little easier to manage, though they also have their own set of problems relating to their physical condition. Each video is cleaned by a specialized tape cleaner before digitization. Because of the tenacious efforts of WTVJ's original film and tape librarian, Phyllis Williams, this news collection was cataloged on thousands of 3x5 index cards. The descriptions for each segment were organized by subject and date on cards that corresponded to each film reel or videotape. Without this incredibly valuable, and helpful, information, we would have a lot of unidentified footage. Luckily, the Wolfson Archives holds the copyright to all of this news material, and we have licensed footage to many productions over the years. This allows us to pour resources back into the preservation of these unique historical records so that they will continue to be available and accessible for many years to come. Visit our online catalog and enter WTVJ into the search box to see the entire collection. There are almost 11,000 items listed.